Hello, this is War Weasel again. Uh, yet another update, this time with uh, some GUI components. Here, let me start this up and we can play a bit. I can show you what exactly it is that I'm working with here. Right now, I can pick up a weapon, pick up another weapon. Let's just pick up all the weapons on the table. In there and now press the bumper and I can select what weapon I want. Uh, I still have a few things to fix like right now the uh, sword uh, doesn't work quite right. <laughs> uh, that's a little annoying. That works though. You know, it's still thinking that it's a you know, interactable object. I can jump over take a look at this. For some reason uh, that doesn't work at all. So I'm just going to keep playing with it. One of my favorites though is taking this one and when I pull it out it seems to work just fine. But I have a few uh, issues with the physics. <laughs> kind of playing around. So some fun, bu some fun bugs. This is what uh, development is all about finding new and interesting ways to break things and hopefully the players won't anyway I still have all the old stuff working I can pick up things I can you know flip switches Whee. and I'm continuing to play with all the various bits but here let me show you my new uh, selection widget Uh, let me disable some of the functionality so I don't get more errors. There we go. All right. Pop this. Now, here are all the weapons I have, and I can go through them very nicely. Select them. Right now, I always select the hand first. Just uh, trying to get everything working. But outside of that, everything is nice. I, I like the icons. I think that's a good size. Uh, you can't really see it very well, but you can see through them. They're somewhat transparent. But uh, it feels really good to move this around. And, uh, yeah, that's what I've been working on. I've been having a lot of fun. You know, I have my HUD class, which is, you know, what you would expect. Um, I have an in-game menu, which I'm not using right now. My selection grid widget is fun. I just have a generic uh, item in here, which is the knife. Uh, and then my selection widget, which is what goes into the selection grid widget. It all makes sense. Uh, here, if I jump here, I can, you know, number of rows, number of columns. I can go ahead and make that higher. I can make that, you know, like six. And then save that. And then when I jump back here, I now have one, two, three, four, five, six columns, four rows. Uh, it doesn't matter. I set it up in the other, in the widget over here as four by Oh, I guess I don't. But whatever the case, uh, there it is. And it changes depending on what we have. Let me put this back to oh, number of columns to four. Just all I need right now. Okay, save. There we go. And that is what I've been working on recently. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but I've also had to redo a lot of the code deep down within um, my inventory system. It used to be that I was passing around these large structures, uh, and there's no reason to do that. I've moved everything over to see a data table. Here's my weapon table. 
it has all my weapons and I can simply go through there and find them by name. You know, is it the fastest? No, but for development, it is so nice to have. Um, yes. So I just need to go through and troubleshoot the uh, major changes I've made. And uh, hopefully I should have another update soon. Uh, very happy with how things are working. Uh, could always be happier, but... You know, I have a few issues that I fixed, and I'm just going to continue moving forward. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your support, and uh, yeah, have a good weekend.